Hey there, I'm Chris Carlisle, and you're listening to my podcast, I Call It The Chris Show. On here I talk about things I've done, places I've been, and anything else I can think of. So enjoy. And on this week's show, I'm going to talk about the time I was the uh, PA announcer for the uh, Rosebud Youth Baseball and Softball. I did it for uh, two years, uh, the first time in 1987, the uh, summer before our senior year, and again in 1990. And also look at news, uh, sports, and also look at some of the uh, worst gimmicks in the history of World Championship Wrestling, according to the uh, YouTube uh, channel, uh, The Retro Repeat. Anyway, in 1987, uh, 1987 Rosebud Youth Baseball and Softball season, I worked from a table that they had set up on the uh, ground between uh, third base, actually the, behind the third base dugout and home plate, and it was also in front of the concession stand, so I would like uh, plug while they were selling uh, at the stand like hot dogs, soda, popcorn, uh, chips, whatever, in between innings. Now, after going to the uh, Columbia School of Broadcasting in Houston, after I graduated from RL in 1988, and working as a DJ at KCRM FM in Cameron in 1989, I went back to doing the PA work at the uh, baseball and softball games during the 1990 season. This time they had built a little booth that was made of green metal, I guess kind of like a little chicken coop or something like that. And in the following years, between uh, 1991 and 1996, I was asked about doing it again. And uh, I said no, even though I wish I had said yes and kept doing it. I mean, I could have worked it, done it around my uh, final way to work it, work around my work schedule and to do it. Although now with the issues with my hip, I'd have a hard time getting up the ladder to, to the little box. Although uh, I might be doing a, uh, might like uh, have a little setup where we'd be uh, filming the games and uh, putting them on YouTube for a uh, little game of the week or something like that. That uh, you know, have to see about uh, you know what I've seen about with the uh, people who are running the uh, organization about doing that. Or a audio, uh, like a like on here, like I'm doing the podcast. Anyway, uh, follow up to last week's show about uh, what happened when I was in second grade in Houston. Uh, this was uh, during uh, what they call fire prevention week. It was on the Friday when the uh, the fire truck came out to do a demonstration, and they got called to a fire, and so they had to leave. Now. Uh, Here's a look at some of the worst uh, gimmicks from World Championship Wrestling. I saw it on a video from the uh, YouTube channel called The Retro Repeat. The ones they showed in the video were a Glacier, and I remember seeing promos about that in 1996. Right, right around the time when uh, another uh, gimmick was start, start out and was starting there uh, called the NWO. Another one was uh, Shockmaster, who was famous for... Uh, tripping and falling on his face when he busted through a wall on TBS. The guy that played in armor seeing him as uh, Big Bubba from the old uh, Texas All-Star territory out of San Antonio. I saw him at a couple of shows at the Mayburn Center in Temple. One was in 1985 uh, that my mom took me to uh, for my birthday. Another time was in 1986 when it was actually uh, TV taping for their uh, syndicated television show. There was also the Eddie, I don't remember much about him, and before uh, Kevin Nash was Big Sexy, before he was Big Daddy Cold Diesel, and before he was Vinny Vegas, he was Oz. That was another one they showed on the video, and I do remember seeing him as uh, Vinny Vegas. By the way, don't you rate getting uh, spam DMs? You uh, see the message, you say, you wonder, well, who is this? But I even got one from... Uh, Somebody was supposed to be the uh, be from Publishers Clearinghouse. And I don't remember enter, entering the uh, contest ever. Although uh, when I, when I was a kid, we got a mom got something in the mail f for one of those uh, contests. It might have been that one or the one with Ed McMahon. And we uh, went through it, and uh, we thought thought about sending it in, but we never did. Well, she never did.
in the news, there was a uh, write-up in the uh, Temple paper, the Temple Daily Telegram, about the rebuilding of the Church of the Visitation in Westphalia. The article had quotes from Westphalia residents, and they hope to have it uh, finished by next year. The uh, Rosebud Allot FFA banquet had their uh, banquet uh, Tuesday, May 17th, and officers for the 2022-2023 school year were installed. In sports, uh, Rosebud Allot sophomore uh, Jamarcus Johnson broke the school record in the long jump, and he also finished in second place at the state tr- track meet in Austin. Five Rosebud Allot seniors received scholarships from the Falls County Go Texan Association. They are Colby Coker, who received a scholarship for $1,750, Delaney Wildey, who received a scholarship for $1,250, and Nolan Colleg and Sidney Parkas, who each received a scholarship for $1,000. The annual Rosebud Allot Sports Banquet was held last Friday. Winners of the RL Athletic Booster Club Award were Nolan Colley, Andres Rincon, and Austin Lasoya. Sydney Park, Andres Rincon, John Paul Rinna, and Chloe Vega received the Gunnar Wagner Memorial Scholarship. Sydney Park, Chloe Vega, Colby Coker, John Paul Rinna, Zane Zinert, and Nolan Colley earned academic all state honors. And the Cougar Hart recipients were freshman Rolando Leon and Mariah Bouvier, sophomores Jackie Salazar, Kaylee Robertson, and Jamarcus Johnson, juniors Easton Fulton, Brian Lewis, and Ileana Rodriguez, and seniors Nolan Colleg, John Paul Reyna, Jordan Landrum, and Chloe Vega. Next uh, Tuesday, I'm going to uh, Houston to uh, see the Astros play. They're going to be uh, playing the uh, Cleveland Guardians at Minute May Park. The game starts around 7. On uh, this day in history, uh, May 18, 1980, uh, Mount St. Helens erupted at around 8.32 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, killing 57 people and devastating some 210 square miles of wilderness. I don't want to be going up to uh, Washington uh, in July for my nephew's wedding. He, he's uh, stationed in the, in the army up there, and uh, not too far from uh, Mount Rainier. Well, that's all I got for this week. Uh, next week, well, I'm sure I'll figure out what to talk to, what to uh, talk about between now and then. Until then, have a good day. Thank you for listening to and downloading The Chris Show. The Chris Show is hosted, written, and produced by Chris Carlisle. It is available on Google Podcasts, iHeart, Spotify, and many others. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.